being reminded of like, well, who knows how to swim? What were swim lessons like? Mm -hmm. When you go out to a lake, an ocean, a pool, what does it feel like in black bodies? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're gonna be looking back to your experiences with water. Hello, my name is Meredith Noel and I am playing Janice in The Ripple. Hi, I'm Tiffany Yvonne Cox and I'm playing Helen in The Ripple. A lot of laughter. Yeah, it's a really, really great cast. Really warm room, really, really kind, giving artists in the room who are willing to share and willing to give and take and say yes when you try different things. So it's been a beautiful experience, really collaborative even with Kanisha. Can't wait for you all to see uh, Gail and young, uh, Ambitious, chipper, black woman. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lord, I've never had to say her name Young, out loud. Chipper, chipper ambitious, ambitious, black, black woman. woman. Yes. That mm -hmm. woman. Yes. Um, Fan favorite. <laughs> yes. Room yes. favorite, if you will. Yes, I, I think <laughs> so. And Chioma brings so much life to mm -hmm. it every single day. You're not sure what you're going to get. And then uh, we have Gregory Warren, who's playing Edwin, who's my husband. And you just see, oh, you see a papa. Yes. You see a daddy who loves his little girl and really loves his wife and also really loves the movement. Mm -hmm. So I think we might all see a piece of our father up on the stage. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Christina Anderson yeah. for your beautiful play. Uh, it's so funny and beautiful that it's adjacent to the community right across State Line Road. We're really excited and appreciative that we get to bring it to life around your hometown. So we appreciate you. Went to the Linwood YMCA and we did aquatic aerobics. And the women that were there were just pure joy, showing us the different moves that you can do for exercise in the water. It was all black elders there. Everybody was definitely over 60. They shared their experiences as well within Kansas City of seeing the riots during Dr. King. And then one woman even shared that she had a child and all her children learned how to swim here and her, her eldest is 35. Mm -hmm. So she's been going to that same pool for 35 years. Wow. And you have to imagine, but when was she actually able to go? You know, like when did the access happen? And these characters created that. So it was such a gift to really see um, Again, we take this as just like, it's something simple. Of course I can go in the pool. And it, it's for them, it was such a privilege to have that. I'm excited to share, and this comes straight up from our director, Kanisha, Black Joy. Mm -hmm. Like having black bodies in a pool and pure joy. You'll hear Helen say so many times, the simplicity of freedom, of joy, the power and the peace that water gives. And I was really reminded of that as I'm doing my laps, passing by people, just the simplicity of this joy to be able to be in the water. Mm -hmm. It's so wonderful to watch a middle-class black family mm -hmm. live their life. Traumas come their way, love comes their way, comes their way and it's just really nice to it doesn't have to be like a slave play or you know or, or, or something like that like you just get to see um, people that I feel like I know in my life live their lives and the things that have affected them throughout that time and I'm just excited for people to like see this family and the love and maybe the hardship that they've experienced and how eventually they're able to reconcile I really think it can be a healing piece for people who come and experience it. <laughs>